when you had big fat tires and you're driving on snow, a lot of times it's not good. Like a skinnier tire would dig through and hit the ground. When you had big tires, it kind of floated you up over the top of the snow. Let's say if it's about two foot deep. So the en- you know, the engine had the power and it would just be digging in, hit ground, and then it would jerk it up and then you'd grapple through the snow again and it would be bunny hopping like that. You could make it through anything, but it was really hard on it. I mean, it just bounced the suspension up and down because it was clawing for traction and it's a snow day. And I was going out with a girl that was worried, her parents were worried about her staying overnight at my house. Her sister lived across town, but she lived way in a different town. So it was kind of ridiculous driving all the way back to that town. She says, how about if I stay over at my sister's? And they said, that's okay. Well, when we fired up the Jeep, which had a terrible heating system, a lot of times I would use a scraper to scrape the snow on the inside of the glass because then you get snow blown at you in your face because it was rough riding a Jeep. You know, they flapped in the breeze and stuff and cold air would come in. And we're driving over to her sister's place, going through snow like, you know, a couple feet deep. I'm the only guy out on the road, except the guys that are taking care of the snow with the big county works trucks. And I'm going through the city and we're, this place called Cutler Park is, it's like in the middle of the city. They had made this giant mountain of snow where they pushed it all together. And then these dump trucks were showing up and they had like a, a snow blower thing that would go into this pile of snow, fill up the trucks with snow, and they'd take them away and dump them in the Fox River. Well, I'm coming down this Wisconsin Avenue toward this giant pile. I didn't even really know what was going on. And all of a sudden, these county works guys flip on their bright lights. I mean, I'm blinded. So I flipped on these daylighters that are for nighttime driving when you go off road and blind them back. So then they shut their lights off, and as I'm coming toward this mountain, she's going, no, don't do it, don't do it! And I just gassed it and hit that thing, and I climbed this mountain of snow, and it just kept churning, and I got up to the top of that crest of that snow, and I went over it, and they're beeping their horn at me, and I went, went through it, and I took her to her house. But then on the way back, I, I was like thinking, Man, I, I pushed my luck. If that would have ended up getting stuck on the top of that hill, it would have kicked my ass. So I took a different way back home. These tires, and you're in mud, like a mud bog, they're like paddles. And a lot of times I could run just in two-wheel drive. And where guys that had four-wheel drive would just get bogged down. And when there were hill climbs that were all muddy, you could just I do it at idle. Just, uh, and then all of a sudden your rate of... Uh, climbing would start to slow down and you just you know, rev the engine and throw the mud off the tires and all of a sudden and climb again and everybody goes, no, that's awesome. That's all it was made for is being out in the field.